Hey guys, Brent Hardy Productions here. Now, sorry for not making a video in a while. Uh, my last video was actually how to make money with zero price tags, which, you know, um, I'm a little ashamed of, of you guys. There's not many people that actually sign up for that site. But, you know, who cares? It's just a website, you know, making me money, making you money. Yeah. Alright, so today, um, I'm actually going to talk about how to bind keys to your program. For example, a web browser. In a normal web browser, you'd be able to press enter to uh, navigate to a web page. But if we create a web browser in Visual Basic, you can't do that. You, If you type in a web address, as we're going to do here, so we're going to Google google.com and press go, it actually goes to google.com, but if you press enter, it just the text just disappears, which is not cool. All right, so today we're actually going to be talking about how to make it so if you press enter, it navigates to the web page. So first thing you want to do is actually go to the actions of the text box. All right. So when you're typing in the text box, as soon as you press enter, it's going to detect a key press. So you're going to want to press text box one, and then the action is going to need to be key press. All right. So now, if if we're using the key press command, all it does is it detects a key press. So every time we press a key, it detects that. But if we type in code here, it's going to do it every single time we press a key. But if we specify a certain key, for instance, the enter key, then it's only going to do the thing we want on the enter key. So we need to start this off with a if command. So if e dot key care. Now, every uh, key on the keyboard has a character symbol for it, like uh, it's a hex code, which is a series of numbers and letters. So um, what we're doing is we're saying if the character code of this certain key is, and e is just a variable used in uh, Visual Basic, don't worry about it. So if the key character is Microsoft dot Visual Basic, so right here we're actually getting info from the Visual Basic itself, um, which is really cool. So pretty much if we use this, the Visual Basic library is actually going to be built into our program. And then so Microsoft Visual Basic dot chrw, which actually is another, just another variable for key care, but it's only for like getting. So chrw is getting the key care of a specified key. So we're going to specify that key right now. We can easily do this by typing keys, dot, and then whatever key we want. So you can see all the keys like on the whole keyboard here. But we could just type enter. Alright, so let's go over the code again. If this um, variable used in Visual Basic, that, that's used to get more variables, so if e dot key character, if the number, the hex code that belongs to the key is the hex code of the enter key, then we're going to do stuff. All right, so what we want to do is actually navigate to the specified web page, which is really easy a command. Just web browser one dot navigate, and then in parentheses the URL, which is going to be the text that's inside text box one. All right. So this code should work pretty well. Um, what we're actually going to do is we're going to debug it. So we move the form, and we type in the web address, www.google.com, and then we press enter. And um, if you notice, it actually directs us to the website, but uh, the sad part of this is it still deletes the text, which is you know, kind of a shame. Oh, oh, did I not type the... Oh, I typed youtube.com, YouTube, youtube.com. All right, so... Oh, that's the problem. Now, to make this text box bigger, I actually made it multi-line in here. So we're just going to uncheck multi-line. And then we're going to re-debug. So we should get an actual uh, better better results here. So we're going to type google.com and then press enter. And it actually doesn't disappear. It stays there. You press enter, it actually goes to the web page. It's very nice. Press back, it doesn't go back. So then we can just delete all that and go to youtube.com, which 
which he successfully navigates to, and then you can press back. Alright, but say there's an error and it detects an enter key that doesn't really exist or some weird thing like that. So we're actually going to detect the error with the try command. Um, I've used this in my previous tutorials. But how the try command works is you type try, and then it tries to do all the stuff that's under the try. And if there's any errors, it actually catches those and saves them as a variable. So what you need to type now is catch ex as exception. And then you're going to end the try. So it tries to do this thing. It catches all the errors and saves them in ex, right? And then after, after it does that, you can actually say what you want it to do if this error is caught. So we're just going to have a message box displaying the actual error message, which is ex.message. All right, so the thing that you need to do if the error occurs is going to be under the catch, and then you just want to end the try. All right. So thanks for watching this tutorial on how to keybind a key to your program. Uh, I'm, I'm, again, sorry, I haven't got any tutorials out lately. But um, yes, this tutorial actually has been requested. Make sure you check out the links in the description, my website, my uh, our forum, which is slowly gaining popularity, uh, my blog. Um, oh, and my uh, website now has its own phone number, so you can contact me and prank call me if you really feel the need to. So yes, go onto my website, get all the new info, and uh, have a great day. And remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.